hello everyone so now let's do this lab i hope you remember already we discussed about this lab we have the overview about this lab this is a brand new setup your manager told you to do this configuration and you are doing this one okay i hope you remember this one in our previous class we already discussed each and everything okay so let's go for the configuration or if you are having any confusion watch that video and also i will show you here if you see this is a small company network in this one what task we need to do we need to do this following task uh, as mentioned here first thing configure isp router assign the ip as per the topology if you see this is a isp router we need to configure but in the real scenario we are not going to configure the isp router no, uh, no need to worry okay in the real scenario you will configure only the enterprise network isp work you will not do if you are working as a network engineer in the enterprise so no need to worry if you are working in the isp then you need to know is is and all other routing protocol later we will see that also but now as this is a lab so in that in the lab we are going to do each and everything even it is a isp or any other thing okay so first thing here they mention we need to configure the isp router as per the topology so we are going to do that one second thing they told configure the gateway router assign the ip address as given below and configure the nat default root ospf so here this is our gateway here we need to do everything okay and we need to do configure vlan that is vtp we need to configure then we need to configure vlan ospf dscp server we need to make and we need to send the default root okay so we are going to do that all here and then we will have the switch one switch two this one this is a axis layer switch in this one we are going to configure vtp and we are going to put this port in this particular vlan okay so this is the overview about this one now we are going to do the lab so first as they mentioned configure the isp router so we will do the isp stuff if you see this is a isp router i taken the cli of the isp router this is a brand new router what we are going to do we are going to do the configuration so i will write here no okay and better i will go in the global configuration mode to change the configuration if you want to change or do any configuration you need to move in the global configuration okay i hope you remember that one so now we are inside the global configuration mode after that what we are going to do we are going to change the name of the router so we easily we can understand so i will write here host name i will give isp okay with the help of host name we are going to change the name of the router as a isp so we done that one after that we need to assign the ip so if you see what ip we have here okay let me take my pen this side this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 is having 8.8.8.1 and this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having 200.1.1.2/24 okay so let me do the configuration this is a basic just we are assigning the ip to the interface or if you are uh, feeling difficulty what i will do i will uh, make the screen small and i will do okay so you can see here by seeing that one we can do so let me go to the interface i will go interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay after that ip address i will write the ip address whatever we want we need 200.1.1.2 space Slash twenty four. Slash twenty four is nothing but three times two five five. Okay, and we need to write no shut because by default Cisco router ports are down. So I write here no shut. After that, I need to assign the IP to another interface. This is a fast Ethernet zero by one. So I am going to do the here also fast Ethernet zero by one. I write here what I can write IP address whatever the IP. We told eight dot eight dot eight dot one. and then we told 255.0.0.0 okay this is a class a ip and then i write no shut so this one i done isp router configuration is finished only this is a step in the isp router just assigning the ip so isp stuff is finished what i can do i can save the configuration wr is used to save the configuration so what i done i configure the isp router i save the configuration so this first thing is finished now second thing we need to do we need to configure the nat so we should know the all our internal uh, subnet whatever we are using so for that purpose before going to this router gateway router first i will finish this so i know whatever the ip schema i am using 
so i can translate that ip from the what we can say private to public ip with the help of nat so we will go for this switch okay so in this one we need to configure vtp vlan ospf dscp default route okay this is a small organization working environment okay so let me take this uh, switch this is a switch so we can say this switch name you can give anything just for understanding purpose i can say this is a sw i will say or if you want i will write here configure uh, configuration i will change the name of this switch is sw okay this is a layer 3 switch okay this is a layer 3 switch configuration so first of all we are using this layer 3 switch here we will have the multiple vlan here we will have the multiple vlan we need to send that vlan traffic here for that purpose we are going to perform the routing from here to here okay i am using here the layer 3 switch in this layer 3 switch we will have the we will uh, have the what we can say vlan we will have we will do here inter vlan and we are going to configure the vtp after that i am going to make this interface as a no switch port and then i am going to assign this ip and we are going to configure the ospf here so all the vlan traffic can go from here to here okay for that purpose i need to enable here ip routing because i need to do the routing also and i need to configure inter vlan in this layer 3 switch whenever we want to do the inter vlan that is svi that time we need to enable the routing so for that purpose i need to write ip routing okay ip routing when i write this one i am enabling the routing in this device so i wrote ip routing after that what i can do simple first we will check whatever the interface if you see this is a g1 by 0 by 1 this interface we need to assign the ip so what is ip we can move this and we can check this is ip 192.168.1.1/24 so we need to assign to this interface so what we will do i will go under that interface i will write g1/0/1 okay after that i need to write no switch port if i did not write this one i cannot assign the ip this is a layer 3 switch i need to make this port as a no switch port then only i can assign the ip so i will put this command here no switch port after that i will press enter then we we can assign the ip i will assign the ip ip address 192.168.1.1 space 255.255.255.0 and i will write no shut here okay when i write no shut here if you see everything is good we done from this side okay what i done i done only one thing i assign the ip if you want i can move like this okay so you can see the cli of the switch little big like this way okay i hope this is clear now so what i done first thing i done here i assign the ip to the interface which is connecting to our gateway okay this is our gateway i assign the ip to this interface now i need to do the vlan configuration then we need to do the inter vlan okay and also i need to send the traffic Ex example i am going to configure the ospf here no issue but also i need to send some traffic whatever is coming from my network here okay some traffic so i need to create default route to forward all the traffic to this interface to this ip for that purpose i will create one default route or we can do the default route from the ospf also okay later we will see or if you want i will create the default route let me create default route how we will create i will write ip route okay then 0.0.0 then 0.0.0.0 and next hop ip so this one is a 192.168.1.2 so i will write 192.168.1.2 so all the traffic first they will prefer the ospf routes if we don't have then they will forward this layer 3 switch will forward all the traffic here okay so i done the default route after that we are going to enable the ospf but before enabling the ospf let me create the vlan okay whatever vlan we need we will create and we will do the what we can say vtp also so vtp they as they mention here we need to configure the vtp also so let me configure vtp then after that we will configure the vlan so what i will write here vtp i hope you remember vtp configuration we need to write vtp domain after that give the domain name i will write network for you okay i am giving network for you this is a domain name domain name already uh, already set to network for you so they set the domain name 
after that i can create the vlan whatever vlan i want to create but before going to that one let me create the vtp in all the switches so they can syn synchronize the database so i will go here i will create here also this is a access layer switch if you see this is a switch one this is a access layer switch i will go here also let me change the configuration here i will write the host name as host name as switch one okay and then i will write vtp domain network we should give the same name okay whatever name we are giving that should be same here what name we give here also that name we should give let me go here also and change that one let me go in the cli and i will change here enable config t host name switch to switch to yeah and then vtp domain name network for you okay we should give same if you do spelling mistake then it will not work i am i am giving here network for you you can give abc xyz whatever you want so i done the vtp configuration here after that i can create the vlan here so i will go here i will write here vlan whatever vlan you want you can create i can create vlan 10 so I, whatever we have in our topology we can check how many vlan we have what vlan we have we can check also if they give anything here let me see here this is a vlan 10 name is sales and this is a vlan 20 name is marketing so i will create that one so what i will do here i will write here vlan 10 okay vlan 10 name is what is the name vlan 10 name is sales right so i will give here sales and i will create vlan 20 and name is marketing they give marketing whatever name they give then you can create that one after that we need to do the inter vlan also so what i will do here i will do the inter vlan so for inter vlan i hope you remember we need to go under that vlan and assign the ip address okay so let me do that one i will write here uh, let me exit and then i will write interface vlan 10 okay this is a vlan 10 i go under that vlan 10 and then i am going to assign the ip whatever ip schema we are planning we can use that one i will use ip address then i will write 192 we are going to use this ip schema 192.168.10.1 Okay, 10.1 for the VLAN 10 and 20.1 we are going to use for VLAN 20. Okay, I after that I will write no shut already it is up and then I will write interface VLAN 20. This is for the VLAN 20 and then I will write IP address. I will give 192.168.20.1. Okay, this is a gateway we can say 255.255.255.0 and no shut. So what I done? I done the inter VLAN. Okay. we are using only two vlan here if you see here in this topology we have vlan 10 and vlan 20 only we are using two vlan so what i done here i done here the vlan only two vlan i done here vlan 10 and 20 i created and also i added that ip i done the inter vlan for that one okay and also we need to do one more thing we need to put this as a trunk okay this interface we should move as a trunk so what i will do i will write here interface range and we need to check the interface let me exit and write interface range this is the range right g or this one g1/0/2 dash 3 because this two interface we need to make as a trunk so i will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q let me move like this so you can see the screen big okay let me move this here encapsulation dot 1q what we have interface fail let me check uh, maybe we uh, done something wrong g1 slash 0 so here what is the issue let me try again let me go interface okay g1 slash 0 slash 2 okay and then switch port a uh, trunk encapsulation okay this switch is not supporting that one or what let me write switch port switch port mode trunk okay i make because in the packet tracer uh, the we have two switch this one and this one one switch is not supporting this command but in the real scenario we are going to type this command okay but here it is not supporting so no need to worry you can write directly but in real scenario you will write two command one you will write first this one after that you will write this one okay so what we done we created that one here we make one interface as a trunk 
let me make the another interface also trunk this one g interface g one slash zero slash three i will write switch port mode trunk okay i make that one also trunk i will save the configuration so what i done here i make this as a trunk this as a trunk i assign the ip here okay and here what else remaining we can configure the dscp okay so our machines can get the ip so i will create the dscp server here okay let me do how we can configure dscp we can write ip okay ip dscp exclude i need to remove some ip address means i am saying that uh, i am going to configure the dscp to this layer 3 switch i am saying that layer 3 switch don't give this ip to anyone because we are going to use that ip as a gateway okay so i will write here 192.168.10.1 this is one ip we are going to use as a gateway okay and then another ip is 20.1 so these two ip exclude okay exclude means don't use that one now we are going to configure the dscp i will write ip dscp pool and you can give the name sales for sale what we are going to use we are going to use network whatever the network for sale 192 168 10.0 right for sale whatever ip we use here if you see here where this one we are using for the vlan 10 10.1 so 10.1 will be for the vlan uh, that is 10 that is sales okay so i am good uh, doing here like this way and default get router default route 192.168.10.1 okay this is the gateway so what i done i done the dscp configuration for sales first we need to write ip dscp pool sale then network and define the range from where you want to give the ip and then give the gateway this is a gateway so this one finish for the sale now we will do for the marketing so i will write ip dscp pool okay and whatever name you want to give you can give i will give marketing as we are giving the name marketing for the vlan after that i will write here network and whatever network network we use 192 20.0 if you remember 20.0 is for the marketing and 10.0 for the sale after that default we will write default route whatever the gateway we are plan we will give that one that is 20.1 so with this way we configure the dscp if you want i will save the configuration and we can go to the other switch and we can check okay let's see here what we are getting we are getting or not here i will go here i will write here show vlan brief if you see i did not created the vlan in this axis layer switch i did not created the vlan in the axis layer switch but automatically it is coming if you go here also i did not configure but it is coming here also if you see let me check here show vlan brief because we configure the vtp so automatically vlan is coming here i hope you understand so what we done layer 3 switch all the work we finish we need to do only ospf here okay and here just i i enable the vtp after that automatically all the vlan configuration is coming here now i need to put this port in that particular vlan and here i need to assign the ip and then i need to run the ospf i need to create the default route in the isp and point towards the isp the default route and also here create the nat and ospf so we are going to do that in our next class because this video is becoming lengthy so in the next video we will do that one this is a part one we can say a small company network configuration part one you will get the remaining configuration in the part two okay thank you bye